What is going on? Guardians PvE man here, and it is hard to believe that we are less than one week away from Lightfall. Bungie has been blessing us with articles and twabs detailing massive changes to the sandbox and build crafting. And with these changes, a lot of the weapons that have been collecting dust in our vaults can easily find their way into the spotlight. In this video, I'd like to highlight some of the weapons that just might become meta in Lightfall. Now before we list out these potential options, I want to quickly remind everyone of two big changes that are about to drop. Number one, while we will still have the traditional seasonal mods to counter champs, we will also be able to stun them with weapons that complement our subclass verbs. So taking a look at this breakdown, as an example, we will be able to stun barrier champs using volatile rounds from void weapons. Number two, match game is being removed and acute burns are being replaced with surges, threats, and overcharged weapons. Essentially, there will be weakly featured elements and weapons that will do more damage, including a buff to kinetic damage if using a subclass matching the weekly surge. So these new concepts definitely influence what weapons may be top tier next season. With that being said, let's dive on in. Leviathan's Breath has been struggling to find its identity since Shadowkeep, but that's about to change. Now this exotic bow already received a series of buffs over time, including the addition of intrinsic unstoppable rounds, but the buffing is not done just yet. Leviathan's Breath will now apply volatile rounds on perfect draw impact, is getting a base damage buff, and a whopping increased damage against champions by 30%. So when we add all of this up, up. Leviathans will now be able to stun both unstoppable champs from its intrinsic trait and can pierce barrier champs thanks to the volatile rounds, all while doing more damage than it previously has. So it sounds to me like Leviathan's Breath is about to become a machine in Grandmaster Nightfalls, especially when the weekly surge is void. Next on the list is arguably the coolest weapon in Destiny, the 1000 Voices. This solar laser beam has unfortunately been underwhelming for its entire career, with the exception of one season thanks to a broken artifact mod. But aside from that, 1k has just never been a viable option. Now this is a pretty interesting change that the devs are going with, where they are adding Scorch to 1k, and if you pair this with the solar fragment Ember of Ashes, a full burst on a single target will trigger an ignition. So this really sounds like a strong buff, since the Scorch and Ignitions will help with both ad clear and boss damage, and will be able to stun unstoppable champions. I'm really excited to see how 1000 Voices will perform come Lightfall, especially during those solar surging weeks. So the next weapon on the list is probably one that my PvE Sweatlords are more than familiar with, but I would love to see Lumina get a bit more action next season. Now there's no direct buff to Lumina itself, however, kinetic primary weapons are receiving a damage multiplier increase against unshielded targets from 1.05 to 1.1. And as we mentioned, if hand cannons are an overcharged weapon, Lumina will be buffed an additional 25%. So this means that it's going to be easier to gun down those smaller rank and file enemies, providing you with more noble rounds. And if you're unaware of how strong Lumina actually is, keep in mind noble rounds do provide the second highest possible damage buff in the game, and it's something that can easily be applied to your teammates. I would love to see more teams benefiting from this damage buff, considering Destiny 2 as a game is getting harder across the board. These next two weapons are definitely Definitely some of the more popular options that folks have been chatting about, the first being Wendigo. This is actually the reward for this week's Grandmaster Nightfall, so definitely get your butt in there to farm. Because, heavy grenade launchers are getting increased damage versus champions, mini bosses, bosses, and vehicles by 20%, and an additional 40% damage increase to miners. This honestly sounds huge, and could bring us back to an Izanagi swapping meta. And the reason you want to go for a Wendigo is because it can roll with the lethal auto-loading holster and explosive light per combo with spike grenades in the magazine. So it's really an optimal tool to pair with Izanagi's Burden, and these damage buffs are really going to add up for our boss DPS. The following more popular option and last on the list is the Stasis Fusion Rifle Riptide. Now Riptide is already a great option since you can roll with auto-loading holster and chill clip, but it's about to get even better because referencing our champion stuns, Chill Clip is actually going to be able to take care of Overload and Unstoppable Champs. And if you use one of the Solar, Void, or Strand counters through your subclass to take care of the barriers, you technically only need one weapon for all champion types. 
So this gives you so much freedom for build crafting since Riptide has such versatility. Not to mention, you don't even have to reload. So those are just a few of the weapons I'm looking forward to testing come Lightfall. And of course, we all know there's going to be plenty of new weapons and perks that just might top these. If there's a weapon that was not on this list that you have your eyes on, please share in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, please help me out with a like and a sub to the channel. And as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the Cosmodrome.